Hello. <laughs> okay, so here we have your drawing. So what you want to do with the rounded corners. I'm not too sure the way I thought to do that isn't wouldn't work so well because um, of the way it's drawn but there's this tool so if you click on the path for example if you wanted this to have the rounded corners then you take you take your white arrow and you click on it so it's selected like that and then there's this tool called the smooth tool and if you take it and you just rub it over the anchor point like this then it kind of softens <laughs> softens the edges like that but yeah then you obviously have to fix areas like this then another way I thought if you didn't want to do the mountain if you just wanted it here or there then the only other thing I can think of is re-pen tooling like a rounded shape like this into it and then just making that be your rounded edges if that makes sense something like that but yeah I'm not too sure where you want everything rounded you just so yeah just do that um, either with the smooth tool or like a little shape like this so now but you'll obviously have to do that before you do the the grunge effect so I'm going to show you how to do the grunge effect this is the one that you had um, when I opened the file this grunge effect so what I did was to make it if you look here this is how it will just cover your shape not go all over so you take, this is your original one, I take it aside just so that I don't tamper with the non-edited one and then I group it which is command G and then you go to object expand appearance this is so that it doesn't, it's not a stroke anymore and you say expand again and you make sure stroke is selected I usually leave them all selected, that's fine and you say OK and if you look now this is what your stroke was but now it's almost like it's a shape so once you've done that then you go to object and you say compound path and you say make and it will do that I can see here by the tree it messes up a little bit and I'm not sure how what you did there but it looks like you've made it to a live paint shape so you might just have to re um, pencil that part and just when you do that try and make sure that you close it over here on these edges so you just link that to that one and this to this one and this to this one um, just to make sure it closes it and then it won't do this but um, I'll just go on and show you so then you bring this one to be above on top of the grunge, you, you right click, you say arrange, and you say bring to front. Now it's on top, and then you place it on top, and then highlight both of them, and then you make it into a clipping path, which is command 7. To give you this, just because it's complicated, but you can just say yes. And if you look now, we've got the exact shape, but the grunge is just going to fall on your object. So, what I do now. I'll just leave it there for now so we need to take this one again what you do is you drag it to the side just holding alt you know that so that it duplicates it because again I don't want to affect the original then what I do is uh, um, sorry this one's old I'll just delete it what I want is I want this to become like this one so if you look it's almost like your stroke became an outside stroke. This is how we're going to make the outside edges of this um, be darker and not show the grunge, if that makes sense. So I've got this on the side. I'm going to highlight it all again and again I'm going to say um, expand and then object expand again 
making sure that's all selected so that it becomes a shape again then what I did was uh, I, I dropped your color here this funny bluey dark blue um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything here because I didn't group it and then I'm going to go to Pathfinder and I'm going to choose the first one which is Unite see again it messes up the tree but once you close it like when you repencil it it won't do this so don't worry about that so now I've, I've made everything as one thing and then I'm going to swap if you look here your fill is your color but I want it to be the stroke so now you've got the stroke which so then I take your grunge and we just select both of them making this on the primary one and then you align it directly on top of it making sure it's on top yes you can see that it's above your, your first shape then this one has to go on top of that if you need to bring it to front, you right click, arrange, bring it to front. Then holding shift, I click on the branch and align it again. Hmm. Why did it do that? Because you didn't select it. I didn't select it. Sorry. I must click again so that it's the primary one. Then it's on top. Now you just need to make your stroke as thick as you want so that it makes the edges um, darker and then because it's full, the stroke is falling on the outside of the shape we don't want that, you just click on this one so that it falls inside now I've got it a bit too thick, you can't see your grunge but there about two looks good I do think you might need a different grunge one that's a little bit more um, busy if I can say that so that it shows more but yeah that's basically how you will do this. I will send you some more um, grunges as well if you want to try it with those. And if you struggle, let me know. Okay, bye.